Of course, folks. So welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be going over every single Lego Star Wars set retiring in 2024. And this list is pretty much confirmed now. I don't think there will be any more changes. But if there are, make sure to check the comment section below. I will make sure to leave a comment and pin it. So if there are any changes from the time that I've uploaded this video, I will make sure to let you guys know. But of course, thank you all so, so much for the support recently. It is truly amazing. Amazing. We are growing the channel really, really quickly. We have not long just hit 2,300 subscribers. So thank you all so, so much. We are aiming for 2,500 before the end of the year. It is a bit ambitious, but of course, to you guys, all of your support is much appreciated. So of course, make sure to join the Discord if you haven't already in the description below. Lots of these sets in this list we will be posting deals for in the description below in the Discord. So make sure to join. We're a friendly, welcoming community. And let's head over now to the people. PC and go over every single Lego Star Wars set retiring in 2024. Okay guys, so the first Lego Star Wars set on this list retiring in 2024, we have the Lego Star Wars Millennium Falcon, Lego set 75257, 1,353 pieces, retailing for $149.99 in the UK. This spaceship is super, super iconic with Star Wars, and we have gotten lots of Millennium Falcons in the past. This one has actually been on shelves for a very, very long time. It released in October of 20. 2019, giving it a really long shelf life. It also did release during the times when the sequels were being made. So as you can see, we have got seven sequel minifigures with some really nice printing on some of them. Very, very nice. My favorite is definitely the Lando Calrissian with some very nice cape pieces, cloth pieces. Um, but for me, I would only pick up this set if it was based off the original trilogy. I'm not really a sequel trilogy fan, but um, I really do like the size of this Millennium Falcon. I think it's a great place scale set and it also does come with an interior as well so I think the set looks really really good it's got lots of playability and it has actually been quite in demand while it has been on shelves for a really really long time I mean on Amazon in the past month it has sold over 200 copies which I think is really good for this set and I think I've been able to find it for around £100 on Amazon so if you are planning on picking up this set it does have some really cool minifigures especially if you are a sequel fan but um, for me I'm probably not going to pick it up for my own collection or for investment unless I find it for like 50% off because it has been on shelves for a really really long time and I'm sure we'll be getting a Millennium Falcon again in the future done by Lego so I think this set is going to do quite good the box is quite big as well so you've got to consider storage and um, yeah I think it's going to do quite good if it was for an investment it would definitely be a midterm investment but one I wouldn't really pick up myself so that is the first set on this list what are your thoughts and let's move on now to the next retiring Lego Star Wars set. Of course, folks. So we have now one of the most sought-after Lego Star Wars sets retiring in 2024. We have the Lego Star Wars Moss Eisley Cantina. Lego set 75290, 3,187 pieces, retailing for $344.99 in the UK. So as you can see, right below the price, it is temporarily out of stock. So I'm recording this in September, so you can kind of guess if it is selling out in September now it is going to go quickly out of stock when they do decide to restock it but the set has been on shelves for a while it did release in 2020 but this set is absolutely amazing I could talk about this set for 20-30 minutes all the little details all the minifigures they look absolutely brilliant we get 21 minifigures in this set all of them looking really really awesome the majority being unique and exclusive to this set this is of course a set a part of the master builder series so we get lots and lots of minifigures and it just is a really awesome Lego set. Lots of original trilogy fans like myself want to pick up this set to have on display, maybe put in a mock, having their own collection. I think it looks really, really awesome with just a really awesome range of minifigures and for investing, I think this set is going to do really, really good. Of course, the price point is quite high, £345. We have been able to find this set on sale quite a couple of times. The best one was actually during May where where, of course, May the 4th had their whole promotion and we had a really good discount on the Mos Eisley Cantina. But do I think we will be getting this set on sale before the end of the year? 
Maybe. I'm relying on Black Friday. If I can't find it on sale there, I might have to just panic buy somewhere else and, of course, maybe try and get a deal if I can. But, I mean, $344.99, it is a high buying price. I do think this set will definitely be a long-term investment. And you've also got to consider the box of this set is absolutely massive and shipping and fees for a set this size is not cheap. So make sure to take that into consideration if you are planning on buying this set for investing. But for me... I would love to pick up this set for investing and for my own collection, but priority is for my own collection. But I mean, the buying price is really, really big, and I have a couple of other sets, especially some brickheads that I want to buy before this set. But I mean, it's absolutely stunning. Like I said, I could talk about this for ages, but I don't really want to keep you guys waiting for so long. We've got to move on to loads and loads of sets. But of course, 3,187 pieces, 344.99 is really, really good in my opinion. So I'll be planning on picking up this set for my own collection and maybe for investment as well. And let's move on now to the next LEGO Star Wars set retiring in 2024. Okay, folks, so we have the next LEGO Star Wars set on this list retiring. In 2024, we have the LEGO Star Wars R2-D2, LEGO set 75308, 2,314 pieces, retailing for 209.99 in the UK. So, with this set, we're going to ignore the price for it right now, but the R2-D2 build and design, in my opinion, looks awesome. I am a big fan of this R2-D2 build. I think it looks really, really awesome. Of course, R2-D2, a really iconic iconic character in Star Wars. Of course, we get a really nice plaque down here. We do get an R2-D2 minifigure. It's not exclusive, but we also do get a 50th anniversary Lucasfilm piece as well. So the set did release in May of 2021. So you can see that this plaque piece is a sticker, which is kind of a shame. I think we can see a uh, closer up there we go you can see right here it is a sticker piece which is a shame you won't really see that now in these kind of bigger sets that are worth this price because of course they have made them now pad printed pieces um, but I think this set looks really really good otherwise I mean the R2-D2 build looks awesome you can actually open up the top and put the mini Luke's lightsaber inside as well but um, there's awesome little features awesome little details I'm a big fan of this set and of course we have had a more recent Lego Star Wars R2-D2 set that released this year and in my opinion that set doesn't look very good I don't like the design of the R2-D2 um, the top of it looks really really study in comparison to this one which in my opinion looks really really awesome of course the main difference is the price point this one is 210 pound the other one is around 90 pound which you can actually find on sale for like 60 now so with this set i actually do want to pick up this set for my own collection do i think this set is worth 210 pound i would personally price it around 160 180 however you can see we do get 2300 pieces which is kind of the reason why lego have priced it at 210 pounds so i currently see this set for 168 pounds as the lowest it has gone to on Amazon and I actually think this set could be quite good for investing because lots of people are going to ignore this set because of course we have had the most recent R2-D2 coming with an exclusive Malik minifigure. I think people will miss out on this one and I think this personally looks better on display than the other one. So if you are planning on displaying the R2-D2 with C-3PO, Chewbacca examples, um, I think this set is going to do quite good when it retires if you can pick up this set for a really good discount. So maybe we get a good Black Friday sale on this set. I do want to pick up this set for my own collection because I prefer this one than the other one. However, I would have to pick it up for at least 40, 50% off and same if I was to buy any for investment. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you prefer the newer R2-D2 or the older one? I would love to hear it in the comment section below. And let's move on now to the next LEGO Star Wars set retiring in 2024. So guys, we have the next Star Wars set and we have the most expensive Lego Star Wars set retiring in 2024. We have the Lego Star Wars 8080, Lego set 75313, 6,785 pieces, retailing for 734.99 in the UK. And you can currently see in the UK, it is on back order at the moment. It is currently the end of September and it will be shipping on the 22nd of October if I did decide to purchase it today. So it shows there has been 
been a demand for this set. Lots of people have been picking it up because it is retiring at the end of this year. And this UCS Lego set, in my opinion, is absolutely awesome. The build is really, really awesome. We do also get nine minifigures in this set, with I believe three of them being exclusive to this set. But I mean, this build is, of course, super, super iconic from the original trilogy. I think it is just a really awesome build. I remember seeing it in Star Wars Celebration Europe, um, fully built, and I thought it was absolutely amazing. The size of this set is absolutely massive and I mean the fact that they have an interior as well is really really awesome that you can see we've got Luke hanging there we also do have a very nice plaque down at the bottom but this set has loads of awesome features loads of awesome details and here are the range of the Imperial minifigures right here um, it's just a really awesome Lego set and I think I can see why loads of people would like to pick up this set in the future especially if they are an original trilogy fan so of course we need to talk about the price point seven hundred and 34 pounds so it is of course very very expensive i've seen a couple of people investing in this set and finding it for a good deal i think around 500 pound i think but um with this set i'm probably not going to be picking up any for my own collection or for investing brand new because of course the buying price is absolutely massive it is going to be a long term investment you're going to be holding on to this ucs ucs set for a while so of course you've got to take that into consideration and also shipping and fees for a set like like this isn't cheap, similar to the Moss Eisley Cantina. I mean, £734, if you consider selling it on eBay, the fees will take a lot of that money. So, of course, take that into consideration if you are planning on buying this set. Maybe we will see it go on sale around Black Friday, but you can't really guarantee um, because, I mean, it's currently on back order already. So, nine minifigures and an amazing build. Personally, I would buy this set if I bought it used and um, then maybe build it. But, I mean, brand new, it's just really, really expensive expensive for me so I'd rather invest my money into other things and buy other things for my own collection but um this set is absolutely stunning I mean it's just absolutely awesome but of course let me know in the comment section below are you planning on buying this set for investing of course it is a super expensive Lego set are you buying it for your own collection do you currently have uh, this set already in your own investment collection or own collection I would love to hear it in the comment section below let's move on now to the next Lego Star Wars set retiring in 2024 Okay, folks, so we have the next LEGO Star Wars set, and we have another LEGO UCS set retiring in 2024. We have the LEGO Star Wars Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder, LEGO set 75341, 1,890 pieces, retailing for $209.99 in the UK. So this set is definitely more of a display piece. Of course, it isn't a minifigure scale set. It is, of course, much larger for the minifigures. We do get two minifigures, neither are exclusive to this set but um the actual build it looks pretty decent i mean the colors aren't right in my opinion i don't really think the colors are the best you can see that there are lots of stickers in this set and you can see sadly because this set was made in 2022 um this ucs plaque right here is a sticker piece which is a shame but i mean the build if they got the colors right i think it would look quite good and I've seen very mixed opinions about this set. The building experience is quite good but of course the colours aren't amazing so it's kind of like a 50-50 whether people seem to like it or not but um, for me I'm probably not picking up this set for my own collection or for investing. I don't really think it would do good for investing but um, just because I don't think it's going to do good doesn't mean everyone else will think it's not going to do good but um, I'm just going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on this set. I don't really like the look of it. So many stickers though on a UCS set which is kind of a shame um but it is sad that it isn't really minifigure scale i mean we do have that smaller scale of the U the uh, the lego luke skywalker land speeder but um yeah i mean these minifigures do look great but they aren't exclusive to this set so um 209 pound i definitely think you'll be able to find this set on sale black friday if you do want to pick it up for your own collection i would definitely wait till then it's one that i'm not seeing loads and loads of people buying it's not really going out of stock on back order etc so so, um, of course, you've got to take into consideration, like with all the other UCS sets, shipping fees, etc., if you are buying it for investing. But um, I could see why people would like to have this in their own collection if they are an original trilogy fan, a fan of the A New Hope. So, um, of course, let me know in the comment section below, do you think the set is worth £210? I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you got it in your own collection? Let me know in the comment section below. And let's move on now to the next LEGO Star Wars set retiring in 2024. 
Okay, so we now actually have one of the more affordable Lego Star Wars sets retiring in 2024. We have the Boba Fett Starship Microfighter Lego Set 75344, 85 pieces, retailing for $8.99 in the UK. And the set does come with one minifigure, an exclusive Boba Fett minifigure, which is also the outfit that he uses in the Book of Boba Fett series, I believe. So the Microfighter build, in my opinion, is absolutely awesome. The fact that you can put the minifigure figure inside and it is the perfect scale I think it is a really awesome build I am a big fan of this build the minifigure I would have preferred a different style of Boba Fett but that's just me um I do think we will be getting a version of this but for Django Fett in the future but um of course with this set I think it looks really really good for investing though of course it is really cheap so for those that don't really have a massive budget those who are getting into the Lego investing hobby this one could do quite good especially if you pick it up for a good deal 40-50% off. I have been able to find this set for around £4.50 in my local Sainsbury's on clearance. So if you are able to find this set on clearance, I think you could definitely do quite well because you could just sell the minifigure alone for around £10 on eBay. So with this set, it could be quite good. I don't really see many investors discussing this set, but um, of course Micro Fighters is a really popular series with Lego and Star Wars. They're going to continue doing them and I think this one could actually do quite good. Definitely underrated and because it is so cheap lots of people aren't actually going to be picking up loads of this set because they would rather invest their money into other bigger sets which have a higher risk high reward so of course with this set i definitely think it would be a short-term investment it also isn't a big set you can definitely get multiple of this set i think i currently have five or so of this set and i at least want to get 10 um, because i think it could definitely do really really good if they continue making more micro fighters in the future so let me know in the comment section below will you be picking up this set especially if you find it on clearance do you think it is worth investing in or just buying for your own collection personally i want to have one just for my own collection because i like to collect the micro fighters but um let me know in the comment section below and let's move on now to the next lego star wars set Okay, so the next Star Wars set, we have the Pirate Snub Fighter, Lego set 75346, 285 pieces, retailing for $29.99 in the UK. So this set is definitely not my favourite. For £30, the build looks really, really small. You do get two exclusive minifigures to this set, but this is the set that I've been finding on clearance everywhere my local stores on amazon etc argos so for me i don't think this set is going to do good for investing i don't even want this set for my own collection maybe parting it out on bricklink could be a good idea but you can see there are stickers as well in this set but um i'm not really a big fan of it i don't think it is an amazing build personally um for 30 pound you aren't really getting much the build is really really small so for me i'm going to be staying away from this set if you do want to pick it up for your own collection or for investing you can easily find it on clearance and uh, of course it is based off the Mandalorian series of two characters which no one really talks about so of course I'm going to be staying away from this set not really buying it for my own investment uh, collection or just my own collection in general so let me know in the comment section below would you pick up this set if you find it for sale personally I'm not even picking it up if I find it for 40 50% off I'd rather invest my money into other Lego sets um, um, that I think would do better in the future. So for me, staying away from this set completely, let me know in the comment section below, are you doing the same? Okay guys, so the next Star Wars set, we have the Mandalorian Fang Fighter versus TIE Interceptor. Lego set 75348, 957 pieces, retailing for $89.99 in the UK. So, I actually really, really love this set. And it's mainly because of this TIE Interceptor build up top right here. It is absolutely stunning. The design, the detail, the play scale, it is absolutely awesome. We do get a Fang Fighter as well, also known as the pancake ship but um i don't really like it that much i'm basically planning on buying this set to just you know keep as many of these tie interceptors as i can and then maybe sell or part out the fang fighter but we also do get four minifigures in this set one of them being exclusive and that is the black astromech droid on the right but um this build i think is absolutely awesome the tie interceptor really heavy play scale set and um of course with this set you are easily able to find it on sale i currently see it going for around 40 to 50 £55. I've seen it go to £45 from Argos, Amazon, B&M, Smiths. So I would 
highly recommend checking all of those out if you are planning on picking up this set for investment or for your own collection. But I'm, I'm buying a couple of this set for my own collection because I do want to improve my Imperial Army. Um, but I think this set is absolutely stunning. £90, of course. I think it would originally be worth around £60. But of course, we are getting two builds and four minifigures. So personally, I'm going to be picking up a couple of this set for investing. I think it would be a mid-term investment. But um, I am actually planning on, you know, selling both the ships separately. And uh, that is how I'm planning on making my money with this set for investing. So let me know in the comments section below. Do you think the set will do quite well in the future? In my opinion, I think it could do really, really good. However, the box size is, of course, massive for the set. I have noticed when picking up this set for, you know, storing for investment. So um, take that into consideration if you are planning on buying it. But I can easily see why people would love to buy this set for their own collection. It is just a perfect tie interceptor build. And tie interceptors have been super popular in the past. We have got that UCS tie interceptor as well. And I think that will help encourage people to go back and get this play scale one. So I think it is going to do really, really well in the future. Let's move on now to the next LEGO Star Wars set retiring in 2024. Okay, so we have the next Star Wars set, and we have a Star Wars set in the Lego Helmet line. We have the Lego Star Wars Clone Commander Cody Helmet. Lego set 75350, 766 pieces, retailing for $59.99 in the UK. So this is based off the Phase 1 Commander Cody, and in my opinion, it looks really, really good. I actually do have this set, and I'm planning on building it for my own collection because I am a big fan of the Lego Star Wars helmet line and we have brilliant news we are actually estimating Lego fans that we were going to be having the end of the helmet line this year but with sets being extended sets being rumored to be coming out next year it is going to really help boost these sets especially the Commander Cody because of course it is a really popular clone character and of course featured in the Clone Wars etc so the actual build itself I'm not the most incredible incredible fan of it. I mean, it's all right, but I mean, I'm kind of just buying these to get as many of these in my collection as I can. And that is why people are going to be going back and getting these sets. People want to get one and then go back and get them all. So I think this one is going to do really, really good. We have seen these helmets do incredible in the past. They have all gone up super, super high. So um, $59.99, you can currently find this set in Smith's, Amazon, and uh, John Lewis in the UK for around £45, which isn't the most amazing discount. But um, we have seen it go to around 30 35 on Amazon earlier in the year but um, I think this set is going to do quite good definitely a good investment and one I see a lot of investors picking up on so um, one I would highly recommend for you guys especially if you are a big fan of the helmet line we have some really good ones coming soon hopefully next year and um, if you do want to start collecting the helmet line I would recommend picking this up so you don't have to go back and get it in the future so um, of course £60 you can definitely find it on sale if you really do want to pick it up and uh of course, let's move on now to the next LEGO Star Wars set retiring in 2024. Of course, guys. So we have the next set and we have another helmet retiring in the Lego Star Wars line. We have the Lego Star Wars Princess Leia Boosh Helmet. Lego set 75351, 670 pieces, retailing for $59.99 in the UK. So, of course, similar, you know, sayings to the Commander Cody helmet. The helmets have done really well in the past. And I actually think this one is my favorite out of all the helmets that have been made. I am a big fan of this helmet. I'm a big fan of the Boosh Leia one of my favorite characters from the original trilogy and I actually think this one is one of the most accurate I have built this as well I have it in my collection I think it looks really really good and adult fans especially those that are big fans of the original trilogy would love to pick up this helmet and of course with rumors of maybe getting some more bounty hunter helmets in the future that could definitely help boost this set but um of course 60 pound I have been able to pick up this set for 40 pound um, at Argos in the UK the box was horribly damaged so make sure to take that into consideration if you are in the UK and you are buying sets from Argos but I'm sure we will be able to find this set on sale hopefully around Black Friday hopefully when stores are clearing it out and I'm going to try and get as many of this set as I can because I am just a big fan of the Boosh Leia helmet I think it is really really awesome one of my favorite characters of course so I might be a little biased towards that but um one I would highly recommend to pick up and have in your own collection I really loved the building experience of this set and I really do 
do think it is going to do good. So for both the helmets, I think they're going to be really good mid-term investments. Um, but of course, you can hold on to them longer if LEGO keep continuing to make more LEGO Star Wars helmets. So highly recommend picking up this one for your own collection or for investing and definitely keeping an eye out on it for some sales around Black Friday. So let's move on now to the next LEGO Star Wars set. Okay, so we have the next Star Wars set and we have a diorama Lego set. We have the Emperor's Throne Room diorama. Lego set 75352, 807 pieces, retailing for $89.99 in the UK. And what I've actually just noticed when recording this video, it is currently on back order, which I actually didn't expect to happen for this set because it hasn't been the most popular, mainly because of the price point. Of course, £90 is really expensive for this diorama. We do get three really nice minifigures. I'm a big fan of the Luke Skywalker. Of course, it is a really, really popular iconic scene and um, original trilogy fans would love to pick up this set. But for me, I think £90, it's a little bit overpriced. But um, for me, I was actually able to pick this set up for £58 in the UK on Amazon, which I think is a really, really good price for this set. And um, of course, if you haven't already, make sure to join the Discord in the description below. We are posting Lego deals, like I was saying, this set for £58. Pounds. So if you are planning on picking up some of these Lego Star Wars sets before they retire, join the Discord. We are posting Lego deals for the majority of them. So let's go back to this build. I do really like how they have done the Emperor's Throne. I think that looks really, really good. We also do get a 40th anniversary return of the Jedi piece right there. And uh, on an awesome quote right here, I'm a Jedi like my father before me. Very, very nice. I definitely prefer this one to some of the other ones that are on other dioramas. But um, I think it looks really, really cool. The scene is quite good um, as an original trilogy fan as well I would actually like to keep one for my own collection but for investing the dioramas are kind of a high risk high reward is it worth it is it not personally I'm not going to be buying loads of the dioramas for investing um, I mean if Lego continue to make more dioramas in the future it could do really really good and help boost this one but um, I would only be looking to pick up this set for 40-50% off and um, you know it would say it would be a mid to long term investment for these dioramas dioramas if lego continue to make them so um of course let me know in the comment section below are you planning on collecting all the dioramas before they retire are you collecting them currently are you planning on buying any for investing i would love to hear in the comment section below and let's move on now to the next lego star wars set on this list Okay, so the next set, we have another diorama. We have the Lego Star Wars Endor Speeder Chase Diorama. Lego set 75353, 608 pieces, retailing for $69.99 in the UK. And I actually am a big fan of this diorama. I think this one looks really, really good. I'm a big fan of this scene. Very, very iconic. The trees look all right. Obviously, they could have been a bit better, but um, I really do like the design of the speeders. We get three very nice minifigures, a Luke and... Uh, and a layer and also a scout trooper and uh, similar to the uh, the other diorama we just discussed uh, we do get a very nice 40th anniversary of the return of the Jedi piece so with these dioramas what I also want to mention is of course we are getting the 20th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith next year which is obviously really really exciting and maybe that could help boost these other dioramas people may want to go back and get them all because if we do get more dioramas for maybe Revenge Revenge of the Sith, which would be really, really popular. They could do so many awesome, iconic scenes from Revenge of the Sith. People want to go back and get this one. But I mean, personally, I actually am a big fan of this one. I was able to pick it up for around £40 in the UK in my local Sainsbury's, which I think is a really good deal for this set. I would say that is the perfect price for this set. And I'm sure you will be able to find this set on sale in Smith's, Amazon and Argos, etc. So I would highly recommend picking up this set. I actually think this is one of the best dioramas Lego have done so um, I'm a big fan of this one and one I'm going to be having for my own collection for investing though similar to the Emperor's Throne Room diorama it is more of a high risk high reward but I might pick up one or two of this set for investing if I find it for 40-50% off so if you are planning on collecting the dioramas this one is also going to be retiring in 2024 let's move on now to the next Lego Star Wars set 
Okay, so the next Star Wars set, and we have one of the really overpriced Lego Star Wars sets. We have the Tinu Jedi Temple, Lego set 75358, 124 pieces, retailing for $37.99 in the UK. So, for $37.99, 124 pieces, it is a really high buying price. So, let's just discuss this set right here. So, we do get three minifigures in this set. Some of the torso pieces are actually pretty nice. I do like the Yoda one right here, but... um. It just doesn't really appeal to me. And it's kind of not really expecting to appeal to me. Because it is a 4 plus Lego set. With the 4 plus Lego sets they are more bigger pieces than quantity of pieces. Uh, these pieces right here quite nice. But um, still not really intriguing me to you know buy this Lego set. I haven't watched the show. I have seen clips of it and I wasn't really a fan. Um, but for me I mean it's just not. You're not really getting much for $37.99. There's much better Lego sets I would rather buy for my own collection. Um. But I guess if you do want to pick up this set for the minifigures, I guess you can. But um, with this set, I would highly recommend picking up this set for 50-60% off. I have easily been able to find this set for 50, 60, 70% off and personally I'm still not picking it up at that price. The lowest I would pick up this price, well the maximum I would actually pick up this set for would be around £5 and if anything I would only part it out on Bricklink. So for me I'm not really going to be buying this set for investing or for my own collection. Maybe people will want it just for the minifigures but for me £37.99 it isn't really worth it but of course it is a 4 plus set. It's not really targeted towards the adult fans of Lego. So for me, going to be skipping this one. Let me know in the comment section below what is the lowest price you have seen for this set. Personally, I've seen it go for around £10, if not lower. So for me, I would highly recommend going to your local Sainsbury's, Argos, looking for clearance, especially at Smith's as well. They've been doing really good clearance deals. And of course, we will be posting the Lego deals in the Discord, even for sets like this, because, you know, people might want to buy it anyway. So let's move on now to the next Lego Star Wars set retiring in 2024. Four. Of course, folks, so we have the next LEGO Star Wars set on this list. We have the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack, LEGO set 75359, 108 pieces, retailing for $18.99 in the UK. So, with this 332nd Battle Pack, we were actually meant to be having the 501st Battle Pack retiring as well this year. However, that set is now being extended on to be retiring in 2026, which is a really long time away. But, let's talk about this Battle Battle pack right here we get three awesome 332 second clone troopers and also a captain vaughn but in my opinion you can basically get four 332 second yes there is a badge on captain vaughn but if you take off the visor there isn't really much difference and you've got four 332 second clone troopers which look really really cool and are definitely a great army builder so we also do get a swamp speeder the build's all right it definitely has some playability but the main reason why i am buying this set is for these clones to build my 332 second army Army. So for me, I'm actually picking up quite a couple of this set. I am trying to build an army for each of the different clone lesions and uh, this one I need to complete. However, I do think the set would be great for investing as well. So of course, in my opinion, we do get four clones that are really, really good. The Captain Vaughn, definitely if it was a bit better, um, obviously it wouldn't really be much of an army builder in my opinion. Um, but of course, $18.99, I'm not picking it up at that price at all. I've been able to go and find it for around £13, £15, I would say, at Argos and in my local Sainsbury's and stuff. But um, I do want to pick up as maybe like five or six of this set, if I can find it, for around £10, which I'm hopefully going to be able to find uh, later this year on like a clearance deal. And uh, I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye out on that. And if you haven't already, make sure to join the Discord. We will be posting all the LEGO deals we can can find on these lego star wars sets and uh yeah i think it will be a great short to mid-term investment i think these battle packs have always done well in the past and this one especially if we get more ahsoka you know content in the future done by lego and star wars uh these can definitely help boost this set so let me know in the comment section below do you think the set will do quite well in the future for investing or are you buying multiple for your own collection personally i definitely am and let's move on now to the next lego star wars set retiring in 2024 
Alright, so the next set we have Yoda's Jedi Starfighter, Lego set 75360, 253 pieces, retailing for $29.99 in the UK. So, I actually have this set in my own collection, I was actually looking to pick up the previous one, and um, this one did get officially revealed, so I was really happy about that. And I would say this set is really good if you are planning to, you know, have a Yoda Starfighter in your own collection. We do get a Yoda minifigure and an R2-D2. I think neither of them are exclusive to this set. But um, for £30, I do like the build, but I wish they had a third minifigure. I don't really know what minifigure they could have done. Could have been a character from the Clone Wars, could have just been a random clone. Um, but similar to the Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter, we got three minifigures, and the Tornwee was an exclusive minifigure in that set. And the same price. So I think it would have been really good if we got three minifigures in this set. It definitely would have helped with people buying this set um so of course 29.99 i'm happy now to find this set on sale i currently see it in the uk on amazon and in john lewis for 21.99 but i do believe you'll be able to find it for 40 50 percent off closer to the end of the year so for me i'm not really going to be buying this set for investing i might pick up one if i find it for like 50 percent off i think that would actually be quite good um because of course yoda and r2 are very popular minifigures and um of course people are going to be trying to collect every single lego star wars starfighter and i actually really do like the build in this one of course the price is just kind of the thing that is making people not want to buy it because you know they might have the old one this one isn't really much difference in comparison to the old one um but for me i didn't have the old one i really like having this one in my own collection and let me know in the comment section below do you think this set will do good in the future or will it do quite bad like the last one the last one hasn't really done incredible since it retired so um of course i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments and let's move on now to the next lego star wars set Okay, so the next Star Wars set, we have Lego Star Wars The Spider Tank. Lego set 75361, 526 pieces, retailing for $46.99 in the UK. So, with this set, it has definitely got a lot of playability. There are lots going on, some really awesome design techniques used in this set. It looks really, really cool. A really nice range of dark bluish grey and light bluish grey pieces. And um, with this set, of course, with lots of playability, we also do get very nice minifigures. We get a very nice Grogu right here and what we do get is an exclusive one of one Bo-Katan minifigure which is really really awesome. The arm printing, the leg printing, it is a really awesome minifigure and that is why lots of people are actually liking to buy this set just for this minifigure and this minifigure will definitely help boost this set in the future if it doesn't get released in like a micro fighter or anything because we have seen that happen in the past Captain Rex um, but of course we do do have the Mandalorian as well. Very nice arm printing, leg printing. Um, but with this set, $46.99, I actually don't really find this set on sale anywhere. I'm looking at Amazon, Smiths, and I don't really find it on sale at the time I'm recording this video, which is obviously surprising. It's one I would thought I'd be able to find on sale, but um, hopefully around Black Friday, I can maybe pick up one for my own collection just for the minifigures and maybe part out the set onto Bricklink, a really nice range of popular pieces. And um, I do think it could do good for investing. I don't see many people discussing this set because of course $46.99 for a, it looks a bit small for this set is a kind of a bit controversial. So for me I'm going to pick up one hopefully for my own collection just for the minifigures and then I'll probably use the pieces in mocks or part out on Bricklink but um, I do think this could be a good mid-term investment because of course we are rumoured to be getting a Mandalorian movie or an Ahsoka movie which these characters will probably most likely get featured in. So I I think that could definitely help boost this set in the future. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you think this set would be good for investing? And let's move on now to the next Lego Star Wars set. Okay, so we have the next Star Wars set. We have the Mandalorian N1 Starfighter Micro Fighter. Lego set 75363. 88 pieces, retailing for $12.99 in the UK. So, with this Micro Fighter build, I actually thought when it was officially revealed, it would be going for around $9.99, I thought. But, obviously, we are getting two minifigures. We have the Grogu minifigure and the Mandalorian. So, of course, that is going to make the price bumped up a little to $12.99. So, of course, with the Micro Fighters, there is a big audience for those. Lots of people like to collect them, me included. I really do like the build. 
of this set. I think it looks really, really cool. And I love to have this in my own collection because of having these minifigures as well. So, of course, with the build, it looks really nice and really nice designs. Um, but, of course, it's really cool that you can obviously show both of these minifigures in the build. So, of course, $12.99, I currently see it going for around £10 on Amazon and in some of my local stores. And uh, I think this one could actually do quite good. I don't really see many people discussing this Lego set because, of course, it is quite cheap. It is kind of, you know, more of a short term and it might take actually a while to, um, you know, double your money unless you're picking it up at like 40, 50% off. And if you are able to pick it up at that price, you are basically able to get your money back just straight away from selling the minifigures. So I think this set could do quite good. Lego are continuing to make more and more micro fighters and people want to go back and get them all. So I think this one could do quite good. I currently have one in my own collection and I want to buy maybe three or four for investing. So let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on the micro fighters? Do you think they are actually worth investing in? Of course, they are more suitable for those who have a lower budget. But um, of course, those who are getting into the Lego investing hobby, this could be a high risk, high reward because some of these micro fighters in the past have done really, really good and gone up a lot in price. But take into consideration, neither of these minifigures are exclusive to this set. I do believe the Grogu is in nine sets and the Mandalorian is in three. So take that into consideration and let's move on now to the next Lego Star Wars set. Of course, folks, so the next Star Wars set on this list, we have the Lego Star Wars New Republic E-Wing versus Shin Hattie Starfighter. Lego set 75364, 1,056 pieces, retailing for 94 in the UK. So I am a big fan of this set. I think it looks really, really awesome. The playability in the set is very, very high. A really nice range of minifigures and the Starfighter builds, in my opinion, look awesome. Look at the designs of those. They look really, really cool. Really awesome design techniques. You can see there are quite a couple stickers, but that's not the end of the world. Um, but really, really awesome two Starfighter builds. I'm a big fan of the, uh, the red and yellow one. I'm a big fan of that one. And of course, with the Ahsoka series, uh, of course, these ships are based off the Ahsoka series. We are going to be getting a second season. It is confirmed and filming and production is going to be starting in summer of 2025. Well, that is what it is rumoured to be starting production. So, of course, this set is retiring this year. Of course, we would have to hold on to the set for a while for it to start going up in price. And if you are a fan of the Ahsoka series, I would highly recommend picking up this set because you do get five very awesome minifigures. We get a Morgan Ellsberth, not my most favourite. We have a Balen Skull minifigure, of course, we did sadly have the actor pass away, but the role is going to be recasted, that is confirmed. We also do get an exclusive Shin Hattie as well. We have like a Rebel Pilot and the very awesome Ikea Astromech Droid. So really, really awesome range of minifigures. This set has lots of playability and of course with rumours and confirmation of, you know, characters being featured in the next Ahsoka season, I think this set is going to do really, really good and I do believe the first season was really really popular of course we had Hayden Christensen uh, coming back which was really really awesome and um of course, there is so much potential for the next season. So, let's talk about the price. $94.99. Do I think it is worth that? Not really. I am able to easily find this set for around £70. But I do want to try and pick up quite a couple of this set for investing. Because I do already have one for my own collection. I bought it from Argos for a good discount. But the box is very, very damaged. But I do believe you could find this set quite easily at maybe Smith's, B&M in the UK, Amazon. If you do want to pick up this set for maybe 20-30% off. But hopefully around Black Friday we will be able to find this set for around 40-50% off. So what I'm definitely keeping my eye open on, of course you will have to hold on to this until hopefully the next season gets released and hopefully the next season is really really popular. Of course the only character that isn't alive I believe is Morgan Ellsworth, but um, the Shin Hattie and Balin Skull both exclusive to this set. So take that into consideration and let's move on now to the next Lego Star Wars set. Of course, so the next LEGO Star Wars set, we have the Yavin 4 Rebel Base Set. LEGO Set 75365, 1,066 pieces, retailing for $149.99 in the UK. So, with this set, the build, in my opinion, isn't the most amazing. Of course, we do have lots of playability with this set. Obviously, the interior as well is alright. We have the nice bit right here where you can show um, Luke and Han getting their medals. We have, like, a uh, discussion bay and uh, just a bunch 
bunch of other little playability features. Of course, you can make the watchtower go up and down. And um, of course, with this set, we do get a very nice small Y-Wing. I really do like it. But the main reason why people are going to be buying this set is because of these amazing minifigures. I mean, we get 12 minifigures in this set, seven of them being exclusive to this set. And I'm a big fan of the Luke, Han, and Leia. I think they are really awesome minifigures. The Astromech as well looks really, really cool. So 12 minifigures in this set is really, really good. I'm really happy that LEGO have done a set with lots and lots of minifigures in. Um, that isn't obviously like a UCS set, but I'm £150. I have been able to easily, throughout the year, find this set go for around £90 at Argos, Amazon, etc. in the UK, which is a really good discount. £50 off, I think is really, really good, but... I'm not really going to be picking it up at £90. I want to at least try and get it for around £70 if I can. I do want to get one though for my own collection. So if I have to, I don't mind buying it around £90. But of course, with this set, I think it will definitely be a mid to long term investment. Because just look at the range of minifigures. Very, very nice range of minifigures. Definitely going to help boost this set in the future. Um, but of course, £150, I would highly recommend looking for a big deal on this set. And hopefully we get one around Black Friday. So I'm planning on picking up a couple of these for investing, one for my own collection to gather all of the minifigures. And let me know in the comment section below, do you think this set is actually worth investing in? I see lots of people saying this isn't worth it at all, but in my opinion, these minifigures look brilliant. And of course, the build is okay, but it isn't really, really bad in my opinion. So let me know in the comment section below and let's move on now to the next Lego Star Wars set. Okay, so the next set on this list, we have the LEGO Star Wars Darth Vader Mech. LEGO set 75368, 139 pieces, retailing for $12.99 in the UK. So for $12.99, I think this is a good price for this set. We do get a really cool mech design, and of course, we do get a very nice, very detailed Darth Vader minifigure. Very, very awesome details, and um, sadly, the Darth Vader minifigure is not exclusive to this set, but um, with this Darth Vader Vader mech. I've actually parted it out quite a couple times on my own Bricklink store um, and some of the pieces I've done really, really well and sold quite quickly. So with this Darth Vader mech for investing, I actually think it could do quite good. Of course, we do have the Stormtrooper mech and the Boba Fett mech as well, which I'll be discussing after this set. But um, of course, with the mechs, I think they can do quite good. Lego are continuing to make more of these mechs. And of course, with investing, I'm looking to see are Lego going to continue making sets in a certain theme so of course like with the Lego Star Wars helmet line we're going to be getting more helmets and similar with the mechs I think we're going to be getting more mechs with more exclusive minifigures sadly the Darth Vader one isn't exclusive but we can definitely get some really awesome mechs in the future with just a bunch of characters so for $12.99 I've definitely been able to find this set in my local Sainsbury's on Amazon but for below £10 and that is what I would at least recommend picking it up for I would definitely recommend checking out Amazon if you do want to pick up any of these sets. And the mechs have sold quite a lot on Amazon. There's a couple hundred each sold per month. So I think they can do really, really good. And, um, of course, for investing, I'm probably going to pick up maybe five or so, and hopefully I can pick those up in my local Sainsbury's for clearance, hopefully, 40-50% off, because of course it is a cheaper set, and of course it is good for those who are getting into the LEGO investing hobby, and uh, I think it will be more of a mid-term investment. Hopefully we get a couple more LEGO Star Wars mechs in the future, but um, I think this could be a high-risk, high-reward LEGO set for investing, but if you do want the minifigure, it is a great minifigure. I have it in my own collection, so I'd recommend picking it up if you do want want the minifigure and the minifigure alone is selling for around £10 on eBay so if you are able to pick it up for a good discount just take that into consideration. Right let's move on now to the next Lego Star Wars mech. And the next Lego mech set we are going to be going over, we have the Lego Star Wars Boba Fett mech. Lego set 75369, 155 pieces, retailing for $12.99 in the UK. So, with this mech, I actually prefer it to the Darth Vader mech. The Boba Fett minifigure, in my opinion, is really, really awesome. It is just the perfect Boba Fett minifigure. I think the only thing missing would maybe be a cloth piece, but you can't really put that into the mech then. It might get ruined, so that is probably why 
LEGO have decided not to do it. But the arm printing and the leg printing on this minifigure is absolutely awesome. It is a really awesome Boba Fett minifigure. So that is why this set has actually been doing quite well. You can actually resell this minifigure on eBay for pretty much retail price. So if you are able to pick it up for a good discount, you can definitely, you know, do what I do and part out the actual mech and then just sell the Boba Fett minifigure separately. So I do have one of this set in my own collection for obviously the minifigure and it is a high recommendation. I think it looks really, really good, especially if you are a Boba Fett fan. So similar to the Darth Vader mecha, I've been able to find this set for around £9 on Amazon in my local Sainsbury's, etc. So if you do want to pick up this set, I would definitely recommend checking there. So with these sets, do I think there will be a mid investment? So for this set, I do think it will be a midterm investment. I don't really think it will be a short term just because we'll probably have to see a couple more Lego Star Wars mechs before hopefully these start, you know, doubling in price, etc. So, of course, with these sets, they are definitely high risk, high reward, and they are actually really, really small, so you don't have to worry about them taking up lots and lots of space as well. So, let's move on now to the final Lego Star Wars mech, retiring in 2024. Of course, folks. So we have the final LEGO Star Wars mech retiring in 2024. We have the LEGO Storm Trooper mech. LEGO set 75370, 138 pieces, retailing for $12.99 in the UK. So this mech is by far the most popular. Over a thousand bought in the past month on Amazon in the UK, which is a lot. So of course, with this LEGO set, I am actually buying some for my own collection and for investing. Why am I buying it for my own collection? Well, there are some really Really nice white pieces in this set so of course I could part out the mech on Bricklink and you know keep the Stormtrooper minifigure to build my Imperial Army and um, of course the main reason why people are buying this mech set is the minifigure and that is obviously similar to all of the other ones so of course this Stormtrooper minifigure is a army builder and that is why lots of people are buying the Lego mech sets especially this one right here so of course with this set I've been able to find it of course with the Boba Fett and Darth Vader for around £9 in the UK and if you can pick up this one for 40 50% off you're guaranteeing your money back with just the price of the Storm Trooper minifigure so I think this set can do really really good in the future because it is an army builder and of course we are going to be getting a new um, set with three Storm Troopers in but of course the buying price is a lot higher than for this mech and if you're able to pick up this mech for 40 50% off you can definitely get more Storm Troopers if you're that is what you're mainly focusing on buying so for me I'm buying this set for my own collection quite a couple times just because I want to build my Imperial Army and uh, parting out this set onto Bricklink to add some really nice awesome lots and pieces to my store. So that is all of the Lego Star Wars mechs gone over now that are retiring in 2024. What are your thoughts? Do you think the mechs will be good in the future for investing? Are you currently collecting them? Because of course we are going to be getting more in the future. So really really excited to see how the mechs perform when they retire and let's move on now to the final Lego Star Wars set retiring in 2024. Of course, folks. So we have the final Lego Star Wars set retiring in 2024. On this list, we have the Lego Star Wars Chewbacca. Lego set 75371, 2,319 pieces, retailing for $179.99 in the UK. So with this set, there's been very mixed opinions on this set. So when it released, lots of people said it is not worth the price point. And in my opinion, I agree. I think this is worth around maybe be 150 pounds at least but um, of course we're getting a very high amount of pieces so that is kind of expected with this set so for this set for investing I don't know if it's going to do incredible I've seen very mixed thoughts some people saying it can do really good some people saying it can be high risk high reward but for me what I'm taking into consideration with this set for investing is the building experience so with this Lego set you can see straight away there are so many different varied slopes and building a set like this with that many different slopes with their all these different left and right scale slopes it can be very very painful 
painful and I've seen many mixed reviews of people saying the building experience wasn't the best for this Lego set and I mean with this set the main people why people are actually buying this Lego set for investing is because you can put it with the C3PO and the R2D2 and they look quite good together as a little three pack on display so of course it is kind of a mixed opinion one for me it is more of a high risk high reward but I don't think I'm going to be picking up this set for investing mainly because I kind of missed the opportunity if I did want to because if you hadn't been in the discord already we have been able to find this set for 50% off and it is pretty much sold out everywhere where it was on sale so it was going for around £100 but the set went to 50% off and um, if you were able to pick it up congrats if you do want this set for your own collection very awesome but um, for me I'm not going to be picking it up for my own collection or for investing just because the building experience in my opinion doesn't look too fun so £180 I would definitely recommend picking up this set if you can for around 50% off but I really doubt this set will be going on sale anymore but um of course with this lego star wars set i do think it will be a long-term investment so for me i'm planning on not picking up this lego set and the main reason why i think it is going to be a long-term investment is because lots of people have been able to pick up this set for 50 percent off and just discounted throughout its shelf life so it will take a while to get back up to retail price and because of the buying price it is quite high you've got to consider shipping and fees for this lego set and the box of this set is quite big so take that into consideration if you are planning on buying this set and that is now the final lego star wars set retiring in 2024 on this list so of course before we go and do the outro which was your favorite lego star wars set on this list retiring in 2024 are you buying any for investment i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions and of course if you are wondering where are the lego star wars brickheads on this list i do have a completely separate video going over all the lego star wars brickheads and uh, that are retiring in 2024 but we have like the phantom menace the tuscan raider and uh yeah of course if you do want to check that out i do have a full playlist which i'll be showing you guys at the end of this video so let's go over and head over and do the outro of course my dear fellow friends and folks so i hope you guys did enjoy this lego video of me going over every single lego star wars set and i would love to know in the comment section below which was your favorite lego star wars set retiring in 2024 are you planning on picking up any on this list for collection investing let me know i would really like to hear your feedback on these kind of videos i have lots and lots of content planned for these weeks leading up to Christmas. We have the Winter Village, which is why all of these drawers are right here. I've actually pre-recorded maybe three episodes of the Winter Village. So, of course, I'm really, really excited to be getting that out to you guys. It is coming along really, really well. And um, that is going to be starting very, very soon because we actually don't have that many weeks till Christmas. And I need to know how many episodes I'm going to need to do for this Winter Village because I'm planning on doing like one every week and then it leading up to Christmas. But, of course, I have got a playlist of all the lists of all the the themes that i've done that are retiring in 2024 i still have a couple to do marvel technic minecraft etc but um of course thank you all so so much for the support recently like i said in the intro we not long hit 2300 subscribers and we are aiming for 2500 and we did just hit 100 members in the discord server which is truly amazing thank you all so so much it is really awesome we are growing this community really really fast and it is really awesome to see and if you do want to find some awesome lego deals join the discord in the description below and of course a big shout out to my members on the youtube channel big shout out to mark fives and paul for being members on the youtube channel for a really really long time thank you all so so much if you do want to become a member click the join button near the subscribe and you can see all of the perks so of course Make sure to turn on that notification bell ready for next week's vlog. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And comment down below which is your favourite LEGO Star Wars set retiring in 2024. Smash that subscribe button. And of course, goodbye folks.